Welcome to this safety training based in part on the National Safety Standard developed by Federal OSHA with a focus on the OSHA standard that applies to all construction trades, Standard 1926. The class also incorporates the recommendations of the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, as well as recommendations from industry and nonprofit organization safety experts. All industries have their health risks, but the construction trades, including electricians, face unique safety challenges. Working from heights is common, reaching to perform tasks, straining to hold, disassemble, or connect items, and job sites that can change configuration daily. There is the potential for exposure to extreme heat or cold, unsanitary conditions, hazardous environments, confined workspaces, and risk of electric shocks or gas leaks. All these are almost daily hazards in the construction trades. We should all know the importance of evaluating and reducing the risks associated with our trade. Accidents and injuries are expensive and disruptive to a business. You certainly don't want to be injured yourself or see it happen to others. It's clear that safety education and efforts to enhance workplace safety pay enormous dividends. For example, from the time OSHA was created in 1970 through 2012, Injuries and work-related illnesses in the construction trades decreased from about 12 per 100 to just over 3 per 100 full-time workers. Even more significant, workplace deaths declined from 38 a day to 12 a day, despite the workforce doubling in size during that time. This class is based on OSHA regulations as well as recommendations by OSHA and other government agencies, such as NIOSH and the EPA. It also incorporates the recommendations of safety experts from private and nonprofit organizations. We'll look at the risks electricians are exposed to in a typical work environment and the ways to mitigate or avoid those risks for you, coworkers, and for the public. There's no doubt we've come a long way toward enhanced worker safety and consumer protection. If you have a business, this class will help you create and enforce better workplace safety and consumer protection. Or if you work for a construction, electrical, plumbing, or HVAC company, it will help you develop and pursue safer workplace habits. That'll give you a longer, more satisfying career. The class begins with a review of OSHA. This is followed by a segment on safety responsibilities of employees and employers. The next portion of the class will present a survey of the most common safety hazards for electricians and the other construction trades. We'll also provide instruction on how to avoid these hazards or to care for those injured as a result of them. Then we'll look at OSHA Standard 1926, the standard that applies to the construction trades, with a special focus on subpart K of the standard that applies to the electrical work. There will also be a focus on risks and safety methods that apply on construction sites where typically the most serious accidents occur. Finally, we'll finish with a review of safe workplace practices along with a review of EPA guidelines for dealing with specific hazards common to job sites.